Hello and welcome back everybody to today's creativity challenge. Thanks for watching again. Today we are going to take a look at a technique uh, called scanner glitching. It's a creative technique which I also learned from Skillshare again, from the same people which did the course with the text as the image. By the way, they gave me really amazing feedback on this project. So if you have a Skillshare account, check out their tutorials, they are really amazing people. So without further ado, let's get rolling and start today's episode. So I'm back on my way to my university again to get some stuff printed, to get the pictures printed in a, actually a bit of a better quality than I would be able to achieve with my uh, cheap ass printer at home. Let's hope that the printer gods are in my favor and I'll actually get out of there within an hour or so. Fingers crossed. This is the place where hopes and dreams come to die. Okay, so what is glitching? Glitching in all essence means purposely creating mistakes. For example, by moving the picture while scanning it. Or by editing the raw JPEG file, for example, that makes up the picture. Like by actually uh, deleting numbers from the code of the JPEG file, which then alters the image. We're gonna do the first version today. So we're gonna use our scanner and do some scanner glitching. So we're gonna actually move, shake or twist the heck out of our image while the scanner is doing its proper job. And then we're just gonna see what comes out at the end. I mean, looking at my first results, I think you could probably do the same thing with the liquify filter in Photoshop, but this is way more fun to do. The pictures looked cool, but I think where this technique really shines is gonna be with type. Let's try out some type. So I just got some random weird ass type printed out. It's just the name of the channel. And let's see what happens. To be honest, to be honest, I actually know what happens because I already printed it and tried it, but guess what? I wrote my own channel name wrong, so I'm now gonna have to do it again. I absolutely love how it renders those long dragged letters. They look absolutely amazing. And I also absolutely love the step in the type by dragging the paper backwards and then quickly pulling it forwards again. It looks absolutely amazing. As I said, you potentially could do all this with the liquify tool, but I think this is much more hands-on where this leads to a much more like kind of organic result. 